The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. Welcome, welcome to Unhinge. Today, we do have a very special guest, Mr. John Polly. Ready for the next one? I am. Uh. Oh, 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 oh. And I thought self-tapping screws were bad enough. <laughs> oh, what in the world were they thinking? Like, okay, kudos. If you're going to put it up with Velcro, at least you use the really good Velcro for the stronger stuff. But that's a 400-pound, 300 400 pound mag lock. Like, you're going to pull open that door and the mag lock is just going to come with you. Like, you've made Well, don't the... worry. It doesn't look like there's a lot of extra wire. So it's not going to go far. <laughs> I'm six foot three. It doesn't have to come far before it gets. Wow. Like, that's just scary. And I'm sure that I know why the new integrator is now involved because the old integrator was told, please don't come back after it fell on the third or fourth person's head. I mean, the fact that they didn't know how to mount it, they got the mounting plate up. Like, they screwed the mounting plate in, so that piece is up, so they ran out of screws? Like, Phil's forgot to tell operations, hey, we got you the maglock, but we didn't get you the screws to go with the maglock. Not that that's ever happened or anything. I get not everybody can put blind nuts in, but you got the hard part done already. Oh my gosh! I'm kind of without words, because that's... <laughs> Another, yes. another speechless John. <laughs> oh, wow. Which makes me wonder if they did that, is it wired up to code with a you know request exit and a 30 second button? And is it breaking a leg of power locally or is it breaking a leg of power back at the panel or is it doing any of that? And if they put it up with Velcro, did they put the button up with like chewing gum or are we going to see more of the duct tape? So Or a command strip or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> what do we want to move this later? So I feel like the mentality behind it was we're doing this because it's temporary, but yet we drilled a hole through the door frame to run the wire. So it's not really temporary. If you've got a hole already drilled in, go ahead and finish the job. Yeah, I don't have much to say about this. Like, it's really hard to rate this because it's almost like, was this a joke? Like, was someone trying to pull a prank on here? But no, it wasn't. Like, this was how someone set up the install and Christopher here ran into it when he was sent out to, you know, make it right. So shout out to Christopher here for helping the end user here. But I mean, I don't see anything wrong with the maglock. It just wasn't installed correctly like i don't want to give any fault to alarm controls like that's one of our companies right like that's right quality maglock if it just installed correctly yeah i don't see a fault with the maglock and looking at the room behind it it looks like it may even be a brand new install because the floor looks clean there's no scrapes and scratch marks or any of that stuff like it looks like where they're at is probably a fairly new facility but at the same point it's like why would we ever do this now i'm going to give a shout out to sia and then some other folks they have now created an alarm tech journeyman program, if you will, or a security technician program through Department of Labor. I was not involved with it. Just I love the concept because we are lacking that in our industry. I know there's some other things that are being pushed in South Carolina where there's a group that's doing some things with the local community colleges to create certificate programs and things like that for security technicians to be able to not make mistakes like this. And so shout out to all the groups that are trying to better the industry and say, hey, let's not drop a maglock on John's head. Yeah. No, love CN, what they're doing with that program there. Got to give them some love for that because the industry is obviously hurting for quality <laughs> technicians. You touched on something, John. It does look like it could be new construction. This is probably just the low bid installer that got the job because he made the biggest mistake on his estimating. Like, I don't understand the low bid concept in general. Like, yeah, you want the best price, but that's usually the person that made the biggest mistake when pricing out the job. Like, why would you want that company to be the one that is delivering you the end it's result. Low bid within reason, right? It's the low bid that I remember somebody telling me that they took three bids and the first bid that came in, if it was significantly different than everybody else's, it immediately got dropped because they missed something, right? You got to go back and you're not going to handhold them and say, hey, you screwed up. I remember doing a job years ago that everything arrived for the job, went to go put it in, and my subcontractors looked at me and said, hey, John, we have all these cameras. We don't have a single mount. We don't have any wire. Whoops. Wire and mounts were never included in the bid. You know, operations versus sales. And I poke a little bit of fun at that. But at the same point, we had to go buy some wire before we could even start the job. Yeah, that's no bueno. And I almost feel like that's what happened here was like, oh, the mounting screws were not in the cost, right? Like that's not what they're counting on it. But the Velcro is good. We can throw in the Velcro. The Velcro is got the heavy duty Velcro because the technician can pick that up at Lowe's and on the P card. You know, I am actually happy to see there's wires going to that 
maglock versus it trying to be a wireless lock because that's no bueno either. A wireless maglock. I mean, ben, of all the stuff we've seen on here, would that be that out of question? <laughs> No, <laughs> no, I've seen, no, it's there. Technically it's mounted. Oh, I'm sorry. It doesn't work. I don't know why it doesn't work, but it's ready to go. Will you please sign off on it and say that we installed our stuff? Place a service call if it doesn't work. Yeah. Also, when you're dealing with maglocks, that brings a whole nother level of life safety codes involved as well. So maglocks can be tricky. I know a lot of integrators love going to maglocks because it's supposed to be a simple install, right? And it's less expensive way to add access control. But if you're not careful, you can can get in really big trouble when you're installing maglocks. You can. And just as a general rule, I try not to install maglocks with my stuff just because, again, it's got to have an automatic and a manual release. It's got to peel power locally at the door as well as at the panel. It's got to be tied into a fire alarm panel. All of these things add more complexities and then you've got to get the fire alarm vendor involved unless you are the fire alarm vendor in that process. And those code compliances immediately, now you've tied into a fire alarm. So now you've got the fire marshal that has to be involved. And so so a lot of companies don't want to have to take the risk or the potential risk of a maglock and a co-compliance with what they're doing. So I typically try to go away from maglocks if I can. Same thing with share locks. Now, sometimes, especially Herculite doors, things that are very unique doors, you can only do that. And the other thing is like this, not every technician knows how to do it and do it well. Not every technician knows how to cut in a strike and do that well either. So, you know, gauge the level of what your technicians can do. And that's not a slam on the technician, you know, get them training if they need training, but at the same point, if they don't know how to do it, don't ask the guy that's been in the company three days to go install a maglock. He's probably going to do the best he could with the Velcro he had. With the Velcro he had. Exactly. Okay. I think it's hard to give this one a knocking score, but John, what do you think? Well, life safety wise, I think you've got a little bit of a problem because just as soon as it energizes and hits an armature plate, it's going to pull the thing and clear off. It's going to hit somebody in the head, not knowing the rest of the install. It makes me question the rest of the install. And so I would want a AHJ or somebody to look at the rest of it and make sure all the other code compliance pieces are there from a technician level. Like, you know better than this. I don't know that I would go a 10 is all that, but I see this falling and hitting somebody in the head and, you know, there's blood involved. So probably a seven or eight because somebody's going to get that knocked down whether it's a maglock or not. I feel like if we had a little bit more information, we could easily give this a 10, <laughs> but we don't, we don't have that information yet. And so from a liability standpoint, life safety, like, yeah. Yeah, it's high. I would say eight. I don't know, guys. I'm like sort of close to a 10 because your building isn't secure, right? Unless they have another lock, which why would you have that? <laughs> you have no building security and you've created a liability that is going to injure or already has injured somebody. Yeah, you pull <laughs> hard enough on that door and those wires are just going to come undone. Like they're just going to rip out. Yeah, it's going to stick to the armature plate. That lock is coming off if you yank on that door hard enough. So the only thing I can think of is that they also were locking the key lock on the front doors, but still I can see where you're at, Mia. You're not secured at all. It does appear like it's an exterior door. You can see a little bit of the weather stripping there and the light behind it. I didn't think about it from a security standpoint. This is really bad. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. caught up on the life safety like it's going to fall on my head. That's the first <laughs> thing I thought of is there's blood in my future. I was thinking someone's going to get sued. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Now you guys are both taller than I am, so I probably wouldn't get hit in the head with this. But <laughs> still so, Benji, if you, so, so so Benji, if Mia asks you to go through the door first, she has prior knowledge that, you know, duck. <laughs> Whatever, John, you know I'm stuck there holding the door open and checking out the hardware. <laughs> <laughs> So you're going with the 10, Mia? 10? I feel like it deserves it since yeah. you can't secure your building. Yeah. It's just that minor thing of security. I mean, that's what we do, right? No big deal. It's, it's like playtime on the playground. Okay. So I think we got eight, nine, and 10. That's pretty bad knocking. Yeah. Okay. Last but not least, John, you ready? If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, or if you have a picture to submit, you can email me at mia at doorhardrunners.com. Thanks for watching.